Well, we may as well start with the catalogue, which we still print. There it is. So that's the 7th of July sale, delayed from the 28th of April because of the COVID thing. Uh, you'll see that we take great trouble to take nice photographs, write up histories and provenance where we can. Lots of interesting things in there, beautiful objects. Um, and normally we would be on display, there we are, a couple of Titanic brochures there, you see. Um, we're normally on display in a nice fancy auction room with all the pictures like this hanging up and so on. Uh, we can't do that this time uh, because we are in lockdown basically in our unit, our studios here uh, at Imperial Road in London, Fulham. So uh, we are on view nominally <laughs> and uh, let me run you down. So we've got the models showing here running down on a block in the centre of the room and to the left we have the artifacts so we've got some great things there we are the nice little prisoner of war model there that was made 200 years ago um and all the instruments they are oxen showing there nice ship strike clocks and globes chronometers piles of chronometers here we are there's one there running away by dent that's again probably 150 to getting on 200 years old um there's a nice um candle lamp, as an electric candle lamp as it were from uh, the white star line so that's the same pattern as would have been used on board the titanic and her sister ships uh, you can just about make out the emblem there the white star line Ooh, there it is sort of um lots of things there ship's lights down there there's a maquette for the figurehead from the royal navy ship hms james watt um uh, which was one of the the, thir the first steam one of the first steam uh, first rate battleships um and that little carving was on view at the great exhibition of 1851. Um, up here we have some telescopes, plenty of telescopes, nice boxes, microscope slides, ship's bells, you can see HMS Malcolm back there. Down here we have the Cambria, which was an express railway steamer, had a contract speed of over 20 knots. Those brass jugs, mugs looking objects, they're measures actually for rum. Um, they were they were used before the rum for the rum ration before it was abolished in the thirty uh, first of July nineteen seventy. Barographs and here we've got a pair of Second World War German U boat binoculars, which I'll just give you a peek inside. They're in near mint condition, showing you there. There's the manifest. Uh, there they are, showing in all their glory. Um, absolutely fantastic optics. On the rack over here, we've got. Um, a clock from the Mauritania, it's believed, and it was then bought and presented to a guy who left Thornycroft, so it's uh, got a dual provenance. This chair, innocuous looking though it is, was um, in the great cabin of HMS Queen Elizabeth and was used to sign the German surrender at Scapa Flow uh, in 1918 or 1919. Uh, that plate, that's called a tread plate. You had them on the sides of ships you, uh, when you got on board, and that was from a hospital ship which was torpedoed off in English Channel in 19, uh, I think it was 16 or 17, all the information's in the catalogue, you write it down there so I don't have to remember it all. Um, that's a rum pump, so back, I'll go back to the grog ration we talked about just a moment ago. That rum pump, uh, you'd have brought, brought up all the rum from the barrels with that. There's an 18th or late 18th or 19th century little figurehead carving, it weighs an absolute ton, I can go out tell you that. There's a, uh, this little compass is called a Faithful Freddy. They were used on First World War submarines but they were so good that they were later used on trawlers. And this one, as you can see, has got the maker's plate for the cooks of Hull. So that little chap's come off a, a trawler from Hull, probably. Um, over here, we've got uh, Coco de Mer, one of the uh, Wunderkammer objects of uh, yesteryear, but still very desirable, only found in one place. There's um, a couple of models here, which are, they may look again like nothing much, but actually this chap here was also, it's called a Ramsgate Hoveler, and that was also at the Great Exhibition of 1851. Um, there inside there you can see that there's a medal there which is the Exhibitor's Medal. And there's, there's the maker's name just here, Mr. Twyman. Um, there they are, that's a, that two exhibition objects. This, is, this, this model here was an idea for a lifeboat which never took off. There was a competition run by the RNLI and that was at the 1862 uh, International Exhibition in London. Um, there we are, some beautiful shipbuilders models here. Um, 50s, the Miracles line, I think, Eugenie, yeah, there it is, Got all the detail on there. So these models were made by the, the, the dockyards to present to the owners who built or commissioned the ships so that they could have them in their boardrooms 
so that they could see their fleet, as it were, also they couldn't see them when they were at sea. This is a Danish maquette for a figurehead. Um, very dramatic carving, um, but you can see the lines, it, 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 how she looks ahead and points the way. And she, 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 this is the, the, her, the, the carving that would have resulted as a, as a result of this maquette, the model, the design model, could be four or five times the size and weighed, God knows, anything up to maybe a ton or more. Um, here we have the Lutine Bell, or an exact copy of it. It's a full-size copy. I'm going to ring it for you now. So this is a bell that's rung at Lloyd's when a ship sinks. Um, and this was found in 1858, and this casting must have been taken shortly after it was bought up. As you can see, quite an impressive ring. I'm going to silence it there. In fact, two rings, I think, was for the safe return of a ship. Here's all our paintings, all to be pulled up as required. This is the stern board off a, of a ship called the Svannen, obviously, from Copenhagen, but it was wrecked in the 1930s, but satisfactorily enough, near enough to the shore for this to be saved. So it's the stern board, the main board, as it were, from the wreck. Here's a pair of doors from the saloon, showing astrolabes and so forth, a pair of carvings. 